Hello everybody, Ministorm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we got our harbors all built. And we got all of these cities, these two cities, set up. And we got our ferry route created with these fast little hovercraft as kind of the initial vehicles that we're putting on this line. And from the little bit that I've run forward, we are starting to see passengers here, which is good. I mean, like, this by itself covers most of the city, so that's great. And yeah, so that should hopefully work pretty well. Like, this bus line is actually turning a profit. Carrying a bunch of passengers. Excellent. Just need to keep an eye on the stops and make sure that nothing's overflowing. Like this is. So. Now, as I said, all of our cities are now connected to passengers. So. I think we need to go back over the entire map again city by city make sure that every city has all the freight that they need that the passenger routes that they're connected to are all good if they need to be expanded improved go through it right and then get through and you know, basically put the finishing touches which is going to take a very long time across this whole map and I guess we gotta figure out where we're gonna start with that project and I guess what we'll do is we'll just start where we started way up in the corner over here and take a look at each city see if it needs an improved tram route Which we have this little road that's running along the ridge line here. Over here at Opdal. It isn't covered by any tram, but I'm not sure there's enough there to really justify adding a new tram route. Uh, that bus line's doing okay. Do I think I need to change those buses? I don't think so. Uh, trams. They're okay. I mean, not making a... I mean, it occasionally makes a profit, but that's not really the point of the trams. The trams are there to make sure that as many passengers as possible are ending up where they need to be. Yeah, we have, like, small extensions of the town that are not covered, but again, I don't think it's enough. And in fact, what we could do is something along these lines... Can we knock it underneath that train track? Can we get over it? No. That's a freight line. And surely we can get under that, right? Good, but I think what we would need to do is remove the rail line 
just a second. It would actually let me do that. Um, no. No, we don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want a bridge. Hmm. Not enough room. Alright, let's get more run up. Is happening here. Still not enough. Really? Then we'll have to have the road help it a little bit. Keep the same style as that bridge because they're pretty close together. It does slow down a lot though. It's a freight line, I don't really it, it shouldn't really matter. So that should help that stop cover those houses. Let's get in here with some smoothing tool and... Make that look not so bad. Alright. Now... Freight. Like, what freight are you actually getting? You are getting fuel and goods, but no food. Hmm. Let's see. Your freight distribution is coming from here. And here's the goods train. Which could, in theory... Drop off food as well. The oil train could not. So, let's take a look at where this train is going and figure out how we might get things through. We got lots and lots of fuel sitting here. We might take a look at that. a fuel train. There is a machines. This is bringing food. I guess we just don't get enough food. The so food is getting through in theory though. It looks like most of the food is coming from here. We're going here. Man, we could, we could stand to have a bigger tram on there. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, so maybe we need just a better way of getting food, or an alternate way of getting food through, because it's obviously not getting through enough. 
So, where does this train go? Here. In theory, it could also transport food. Hmm. Let's check the other the other end of this thing because maybe maybe the food demand is not actually covered by our delivery point. That is possible. Cuz here's the food customers there. And it looks like that is the case. The food customers down here are not actually covered on the delivery point. Very good. So, that is easily remedied. another stop okay so that should now make this city a customer for food and that should make its way through the system um, these trams These are PC-1643 cargoes. We really don't have any other... I mean, unless I want to go up to the... To these guys. But I don't really want to do that for an in-city delivery tram. Um, so I guess we'll stick with this. We'll just renew them. And I will add a third to the line. Does it look like we have any traffic issues? Well, there's certainly some traffic here. But nothing too terrible. We got lots of, um... Old road out here that probably needs to be reworked. Well, after Optal, let's go take a look at at uh, Story Yard here, or Story Yard. Let's take a look at this. This is covered there. Actually, we are overloaded here. Um, we can update those buses, I think. Because right now we're using fish bowls, right? GM fish bowls. They have a 15 capacity. We could jump them up to BK670s. Yeah. And let's add another one. Okay. Great evaluation for deliveries. Uh, this is getting everything. So, you are well covered. You're getting all... Well, you're not getting, like, great deliveries, but you're getting some of everything. Which is what really matters. Um, tram coverage. We have this extension out here. We have these extensions. There. Um... Could use an extension, but I'll leave it for now. Uh, this passenger station looks fine. 
This passenger line looks good. What about our trams? We are a little overloaded on our tram routes. So, what I'd like to do... Manage the vehicles. Let's upgrade them. the same number of passengers. Yeah. Let's upgrade them to these. What about the A route? You know, if we're going to upgrade one, we should probably upgrade the other. Alright. Now we have this silver route, though this is one of our most profitable freight lines. So I am not thinking we need to do anything to this. Yeah, I think we can just let that be. All right. Now, let's start looking at the roads here. I mean, certainly we could stand to upgrade a lot of the roads. But I don't want to disrupt things too much. For the small cities, where we're just starting with them, that's fine. We're trying to upgrade the roads in here. Let's, let's take a look. It actually isn't going to cost much. If... Okay. Now here's where we're going to get a lot of costs. Let's at least upgrade the road straight through town. Here, this intercity road, which I'm surprised is not choked with traffic. I mean, there is some traffic on here, but not a terrible amount. Probably means that our public transport is doing its job. This is where we would definitely want to bump up to a much, much larger road. Construction not possible. I beg to differ. I'm thinking this city might need improved trams. Expand that, we're gonna have to rework it a little bit. Alright. Well, let's tear that out. Let's. Now, this. This has to maintain a trim line. We'll back that up a little bit. We'll back you up a little bit. And we'll get rid of that. Alright.
Well, if that depot's in the way, then let's get rid of it. All right. Yeah, it doesn't like that angle. Do something like that. Okay. Now, does this actually need a tram line on it? Don't know, but it had it before, so we'll put it back. Collision. All right. Ah, I see. I see. All right. We're going to have to reposition this road a little bit. City road. Oh, we don't want this all to be a city road. Oops. We want it to be Urban Expressway. Probably from this point on. We want that to be Urban Expressway. Okay, there we go. A much larger road for that traffic to take advantage of. Oh, oh my. That train has seen better days. That train has definitely seen better days. Let's see, do I want to follow that passenger line? Or do I want to come around the top? I think we'll get we'll get back to that. Let's keep swinging around uh, the 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 north the north side here. There's something I want to do here. Because the growth of this city is being blocked.
not going to be able to do that. You know what? I can deal with that. That level crossing there. Yeah, let's see if that'll encourage growth along this area here. Oh, we're already starting to see it. Good. we're having here it won't let me delete that why all right let's tear out some of these uh does not want to do it. What if I use my old trick? No, it just does not. There we go. Okay then. Did not want to destroy that much of the town, but it didn't really give me much choice. Oh, it'll rebuild. That's fine. there. Alright. North Plains line. This is the Shinkansen. Which still has an overload of people. Alright. Nordberg. You are not getting goods. All right, we need to take a look into that. Uh, what about trams? Yeah, I think we're still okay. What we could use... See, this connects here. There's a connection that comes across here. Because right now, this this stop is not providing any coverage for these these houses here. Because it doesn't reach far enough to go around this whole bridge. Hmm. Now, that bridge is important because we are moving freight through there. Alright, new locomotives. Okay, just a few new locomotives. 
Well, in fact, this road almost certainly needs to be expanded to four lanes and be given a bus lane. All right, we can do that. Because the city has kind of grown on top of it a little bit. Still remains a two-lane road for general traffic, but we keep things clear for the trams. Alright. think we'll be able to go high enough or low enough. I think we can deal with a, uh, a small level crossing there. Now that we're getting some coverage over here, not much, but we're getting some. Okay, what did you need? You needed goods. All right, where is your delivery route? Your delivery route comes through over here. Why it doesn't go there? I don't know. Um, but it comes through over here. And we have just absolutely tons of stuff that is waiting to get delivered. All right. Because this is the machines factory, right? I guess that's what we're doing. We do have a line that goes from there to there. That is a planks line, I think. Yes, and all that's going to be able to do is move planks. And steel, it would seem, also makes its way through there. is just moving planks and steel as well. Let's see, what else? Planks, steel. Though, this has boxcars on it. So in theory, that could move goods. Where does it go? It goes here. It's moving food. But this is where we're connected to...
here. That's moving meat. That's it. Now it's just moving iron and coal. Okay, so what we would need is a way to get goods into here. Goods factory. Plastic. All right. Well, I think that's going to be the project for next episode, so we'll go ahead and stop here for now. We'll see if we can figure out how to get this up and running. And so we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.